All right. I made it. Day 21. Today was the last day of the paleo diet. Um, I am currently breaking out in hives. I don't know if you can see my arm. I'm breaking out in hives, and I don't know why. I think it's the seasonal allergies, like grasses or pollen or trees or something, but um, I was with my folks all day, and um, let's say for breakfast, my dad actually went and got me like paleo chicken sausage, which if you want to be really strict, like it's a processed meat, so is it technically paleo? No. Um, but it had like basil or spinach or something in it, and it was really good. I had a bunch of those for breakfast, I had fried eggs, and I had a smoothie with berries and um, coconut milk and bananas and stuff like that, and honey and maple syrup. Um, and uh, I think I, I had that breakfast late, so I skipped lunch. And then I had dinner, I had a big dinner, I had two servings, but I only took a picture of one. But it was pork chops, um, pork chops, like steamed carrots, uh, like air fried sweet potato diced up and then like sauteed broccoli um, So it was just a big old slab of meat and a bunch of vegetables um, and That was it man I'm not gonna lie. I did jump the gun. They made like a like Razzleberry pie or streusel or whatever for dessert and I was like I'm I'm done with paleo and I, I ate that um because I was just so excited to be done. And um, yeah, that was day 21. I'm gonna make a separate wrap up video. Um, but you know, for day 21, same as all the other days, kind of just a, a, like a, I guess a preview into the wrap up video. Um, I really, I really, I was surprised by how much I enjoyed the diet. I really did enjoy the diet quite a bit. Um, the food is delicious. It forced me to get really creative with my food. I felt really mentally healthy on the diet. I felt emotionally healthy. I felt like I had more energy. Like my brain fog was cleared away. Like it was mentally much quicker and had more clarity. Um, it's just inconvenient. That's my biggest issue with the diet is just, it's just really difficult to eat out at public restaurants. It's difficult when you have family members who don't know what they can and can't buy you. It's difficult because most of the time you're reduced to have to cook and I live with roommates and the kitchen is dirty all the time and so it's difficult to cook even when I'm not on a diet and now that I'm on a diet I'm restricted in the foods that I can eat and the ways that I can cook and stuff like now that's added into it and like you know part of the beauty of having fast food which you know you should eat smart and you should eat healthy foods but part of the beauty of having fast food is like if i'm running late for work i don't have to cook i can go buy a restaurant swing by spend 10 bucks and get a full meal right there you know um and there are like healthy fast food options out there um, a lot of fast food restaurants are kind of switching their brand to be like rebranded for healthy like smart foods i guess um but like even in line with that you know there are grain based foods everywhere um, so it's just really, really difficult. Um, but I will, I will save the rest of that for the wrap-up video. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. So that was the paleo diet. Thanks for watching.